The curtains have drawn down in Accra at the 14th Ghana Africa Seniors and Junior Swimming, with South Africa and Egypt the biggest winners in the competition. The competition, hosted at the Trust Sports Emporium, saw over 400 swimmers in the capital of Ghana for the week-long event, which ran from October 11, 2021 to October 17, 2021. At the end of the championships, 11 new records were set with South Africa and Egypt showcasing their prowess in the water, winning a combined 197 medals in the Juniors and Seniors' events. South Africa topped the medal table with 57 overall. One of their 24 gold medals in that hall included a record-breaking one for Martin Benedil, who took apart the 13-year-old record in the men's 200-meter backstroke previously held by countryman George Duran. Yeah, obviously, yeah, it's, it's been a it's been a long month for me uh, coming off the FINA World Cups in um, Europe. You know, Berlin, Budapest, a lot of hard racing, short course, obviously as well. So it's come here. You know, it's always a huge honor representing my country and. Uh, I mean, I know it was a 12-year record, so obviously really ecstatic. Uh, George Durant is someone I look up to. Um, he's a personal friend of mine. You know, being a, the African 200-meter backstroke record holder, long course, um, it's someone I try, kind of, that's been mentoring me for quite some time. Um, so I really look up to him. So to have gotten that record, ecstatic. The championship, though, truly belonged to Rebecca Mida, who won an astonishing 11 gold medals, the most by a single athlete at the Games, and along with it, the prize for the best female swimmer of the competition. <laughs> We're feeling a little bit rough, but um, yeah, that's where all the hard work and the training comes in into play. I mean, if you're used to finishing the week off strong and finishing the week off hard and fast, um, your racing will come through like that so it's just about building racing endurance now um, and that's what this guy is about. Post country Ghana won just two medals at the competition but it was the efforts of the pool that truly captured people's imagination. Only given the nod in June this year to organize the championship, Ghana only had three months to pull off the competition and they delivered spectacularly. Even drawing praise from General Secretary of the Confederation of African Swimming Association, Mohamed Dup. Uh, we we very happy first because uh, it is in the difficult time uh, in the covid uh, pandemic it's not easy to organize some things and also uh, the federation decide to combine junior and senior championships why it will uh, a, a difficult challenge but uh, the federation of ghana uh, organized this competition and uh, we we have satisfaction. Maybe some things have to be uh, better, but uh, we happy. We happy. All of the credits belong to the folks at the Ghana Swimming Association, led by its president Delphine Kwe, who explains why Ghana was trusted with organizing the competition in such a short notice. So we are very honored to host all the 42 countries from the Ghana Bureau members here for this competition. I mean, we bid for this competition earlier in the year and surprisingly, not to us though, they gave it to us because of what we did last year. Last year we hosted successfully the Canada Zone 2 Championship and I think they were impressed with us. You know, with the Ghanaian hospitality and we like to do things well. So they saw that, well, if this comes to us as well, they, they had no doubt that we will be able to manage to host this successfully. From Ghana, the Ghana Swimming Championships moved to Tunisia next year. But before that, many of the African swimmers from this competition will immediately turn their attention to the FINA Championships in Japan, where they will not only be competing for their individual countries, but for the whole of Africa.